plastic polymers do not biodegrade. So the only thing that makes the plastic get smaller is ultraviolet radiation from the sun and wave action in the ocean. Now that breaks it into smaller and smaller pieces, but these pieces never go away. Food in the ocean contains plastic. That means the bottom of the food web all the way to the top. The zooplankton that we find in our trawls, we can bring them right up on deck and begin dissecting them and find little pieces of plastic fishing line, bits of plastic fragments um, in their tissues. You can think of these plastic bits as poison pills, uh, moving all the toxics around the marine environment. And then you've got the situation of the plastics themselves having to have additives put in them, which are not polymers, which do leach out and which become part of the metabolism of the creatures that ingest the plastic scraps. The ocean is downhill from everywhere, and this plastic is not just coming from the cities along the coast. It's coming from inland states, and all these rivers are draining into the ocean. The ocean is the final resting place for all our waste. We've created a throwaway society in which a product that lasts for all practical purposes forever from a human perspective is used for only seconds and then discarded. Making bottles day after day that get thrown away that need more bottles, cups need more cups, packaging that needs more packaging. And we have no place to throw away our waste. Away is no longer a place. We need uh, as a society to value plastics in an entirely different way. We can make things out of plastic that will work for a long, long time. That's how we should be using it. That's what this, when we say we can't recycle this, we can make, there's a company right now in Tennessee that can take all of this right here and turn it into lumber. They don't care if it's got weeds in it. They don't care what plastic's in there. They don't care what it is. They're gonna turn it right into lumber. That's the kind of thing we can do with unsorted garbage. Just think of what we could do with sorted garbage. All we can do is stop polluting and give the ocean time to spit it out. And she can eventually get rid of this junk if we give her a chance.